One round of applause. Thank you, Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests. Today I'm going to tell you about this equation I learned in the book called The Success Principles written by Jack Canfield. I want to tell you how I learned this. I want to tell you how this equation happens in your everyday life. And then I'm going to tell you how one of my stories of how this equation played a big part in my life. So what does E plus R E plus R equal O stand for? It stands for event plus response equals outcome. Well, what does that mean? Well, we all have events that happen in our lives, and depending on how we respond to them is depending on what outcome we will get. So let me give you the first example of something that probably has happened to everybody in this room. Check engine light comes on. <clears throat> all right, that's the event. What your response usually is, ah, I'll wait, <laughs> I'll bring it to the mechanics when I have time. And then what is the result? You're sitting on the side of the road and your engine's blown up and it's time to get a new car. Let me give you another example, which is, I see a lot of people have, especially in the economy today, they stay in jobs they don't like. And what is, that's the event. What is their response? They come in late all the time, they have a bad attitude, they're not productive. You know, and what is the outcome? Eventually they get fired, they burn their bridge of where they're working, they can't use them for references, and now they have no job and they're losing money. Let's, let's try to turn this around and give her a different response. So the event, you dislike your job. Then your response can be to start looking for a job that would be more, you know, more fulfilling, more of what you're looking to do, uh, a better company if you don't want to change career fields. And then the outcome could be receiving a more fulfilling job, doing something that you like, and just feeling happier and more fulfilled. So now it's story time. I'm gonna tell you a story of how this equation was big in my life. Between 2010 and 2011, I was getting sick on the dime every two months. Every two months, I was out for a week, out sick from work. And finally, after a year of this happening, I went to my doctor and I said, can we do some tests? I don't know what's going on here. So we did some tests and I found out that we had a high protein in my blood. So then he sent me, he didn't know what the high blood in the protein that was in my blood was, so he sent me to a blood specialist. Well the blood specialist ran a bunch of tests and then eventually asked me to come in. When I came in, he asked me, he told me that he thinks that I might have bone cancer and that he should do a bone marrow test. I was like, okay, sure, a bone marrow test, uh, I'll, no problem. So I go into the um, into the room to get the bone marrow test done and his nurse comes in with a little needle to give me you know some anesthesia and then she came in with this mm -hmm. which looked like a weapon <laughs> <laughs> the thing was like this long and as thick as a little bit less thick than a pencil so to do a bone marrow test the doctor came in and he said get in the fetal position put your knees against the wall and take your sweater off and put it in your mouth to bite down on because I'm going to put you against the wall and I'm going to hammer this into your hip. Well he hammered it in and then he took out the bone marrow the first time and it was like, like it was like he sucked the life out of me. It was like he took my soul out of my body. It was so painful and I was like alright, alright good. He's like no, we got to do this two more times. So to ease the pain, he's like, on three, breathe in, and I'm going to suck out on three. So one, two, <gasps> and he takes the bone marrow out. So after give doing the test, I was completely blindsided. I just got told I might have bone cancer. He just did this test that was excruciating. And he goes, okay, you know, I'll, I'll call you in a couple of weeks with the results. So I walk, get to my car. And I'm shaking from head to toe with the adrenaline rush from what just happened and all the news that he just told me. And I cried and cried and cried in that, in that car. And then what my response could have been? I could have felt sorry for myself. I would have screw this, you know, whatever. I'm going to go party, go crazy. I said, no, I'm going to beat this. So I decided to change my life and change my responses. And I decided to get back into the gym, eat healthy, and and go through this whole thing. So the doctors told me I had to go to the cancer clinic at NYU and they told me by 
July, this happened on the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, great way to start the weekend, right? <laughs> um, they told me on July 18th, I would have all the results from all the tests. So I had around about two months. <sighs> so I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back in the gym, I'm gonna start eating healthy again, I'm gonna take control of my life. So I went to the gym, started working out, working my butt off, started eating right, and then the day, so what I decided to do was the day before my test, I was going to have a photographer friend of mine do a photo shoot with me, <laughs> and I was going to prove to the world and to myself that nothing can beat me. I'm 33 years old. I'm a young man. I'm strong. I'm not going to let this beat me. So the day before my results, I wanted to perform my results. Mm -hmm. I, I, I booked the photographer photo shoot, and then this was the results after two months of a lot of hard work. Wow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Wow. Then the very next day, the... I went to in for my results. My protein levels went down, and I didn't have bone cancer after all. And I was going to be monitored, but I didn't have bone cancer on it. And I have, have not contracted any type of cancer, and everything is, all my levels are back to normal after testing. So that was my response. I could have easily went into a deep depression, let everything get out of control, but I decided to take control of myself, of my life, and and get the outcome that I wanted, which was being cancer-free, healthy, strong. So I, I tell you all, you should write down this equation and use it every day in your life, because what your response is, is gonna tell you what your outcome is gonna be. So what will your new responses be to get the outcomes that you want in your life? That's what I'll leave you with. Thank you.